Edith Windsor walked down the steps of the Supreme Court to cheers. The 83-year-old seemed optimistic about her challenge to the Defense of Marriage Act. I think, I think it's going to be good. Windsor's path to the high court started when her spouse Thea died, and she was hit with a $360,000 inheritance tax. If Thea's name had been Theo, okay, I would have paid no tax. The 1996 law, known as DOMA, denies legally married same-sex couples access to more than 1,000 federal programs, including survivor benefits and the ability to file a joint tax return. I think the court can't help but be affected by the way that this statute writes gay people and gay married couples out of the federal code. The Obama administration sided with Windsor in this case and declined to defend DOMA in court. During arguments, five justices indicated they could strike down the law, but for different reasons. Justice Kennedy said DOMA appears to intrude on the power of states that allow same-sex marriages. The question is whether or not the federal government, uh, under our federalism scheme, has the authority to regulate marriage. Some of the liberal justices said the law creates two classes of marriage. It's also possible the court could dismiss the case for procedural reasons. Danielle Nottingham, CBS News, the Supreme Court.